about quarter till seven on September 3rd, we are heading to hike to Cleopatra Wash, which will hopefully uh, take us all the way down into the Colorado River. So, uh, Tim, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see? Um, well, it's either a three mile hike, the hike is between three miles and five miles, depending on how far we can get in the car. Um, the road eventually washes out at some point, so we'll kind of abandon the car and start hiking as soon as um, the car can't make it anymore. And, um, yeah, you know, there should be lots of stuff to see, and uh, at the end we'll be rewarded with the lake, so it'll be um, about 110 degrees today down at the lake, so I have a feeling that the water will feel pretty nice once we get down there. So we are starting our hike up Boathouse Cove Road and we thought we would be able to get about a mile to three miles on up the road depending on the road condition. But the road is much worse than we had anticipated so we made it three tenths of a mile which is going to add about two and a half miles to our hike. So instead of a three mile hike now we have a five and a half mile hike. So that's fine just a little bit longer than what we thought but um, we are getting started. What do you think? Um. I wish the car would have gone a little further, but I guess that's why we need a Jeep. Yes, so here we go. Here we go. Well, we're finally on the trail. It's uh, starting to get a little warm, but it's, uh, it's a nice hike so far. What do you think? It is, yeah. We have um, probably about three and a half miles to go, but um, since we had to walk along the road that was, you know, not in any condition for the, the car to make it, um, you know, we, we, uh, we just got on the main trail a little bit ago. So, yeah, it's not too bad so far, but I know there are more obstacles ahead, but um, yeah, should be very doable. We'll check in with you then. And as you can see, there is evidence that bighorn sheep do live in this area. So we've come to this, which is way too steep of a drop for anyone to do without a rope. So looks like if we back up, we can come down here, is what I believe I read online. So we will try that. We're getting closer. And there's what we had to bypass. Um, obviously there is no way we could have ever climbed down that without a rope. And we don't have a rope. No rope. How was it? Uh, preferable to that. Definitely. <laughs> There was a big boulder in our way down here, so we had to just sort of start climbing up the mountain, get down to the other side where, where the cove is. 
And finally, we've gotten to the point where we can see Lake Mead. We just have to get down to the water now. We've been down here at the water for about the last 30 or 40 minutes or so. We did a little bit of swimming, had some lunch, and we're getting ready to leave. And tell us what you're up to. Um, I'm uh, repairing my blisters before we get back on the trail. How, uh, how, how was the trip down here? Uh, mostly easy until the last little hump to get over here and had a couple spills on the way down. So we, uh, it's about 11 o'clock, the high temperature near, well, the, where we are at this low elevation is about 110, it's not, a, it's not that warm yet, but it is pretty hot. And it was nice to cool down in the water for a little while, and um, I think we're going to probably heat up pretty quickly once we start our trip back. So uh, we are headed back up in a few minutes. And we just climbed up this big hill here that we had to take because there was the boulder in our way and there was that uh, large, probably 20, 25 foot drop that we couldn't do. There's Kara catching her breath. And down here is where we hit the wash again, Cleopatra Wash, and that'll take us about five miles back to our car. Well, we are back in the car, headed back to Las Vegas. Um, it was a good hike, uh, got a little long there at the end where we had to uh, trek back to the car, uh, uh, the, the spot where uh, we thought we were going to be able to drive on and a little warm and toasty, I think we were both a little overheated, but all in all a good hike. What do you think, Tim? Uh, I agree with everything I thought it was, you know, it was fun, um, being in the water and swimming was a lot of fun. Um, did get hot toward the end with us having to walk um, overall about four more miles than we expected. It was probably 110 or something, so but we had enough water and we made it and yeah, it was a good time. Good time was had by all.